Well, but then October 7th of 2021, mm -hmm. that's when all hell broke loose. You, along with 18 other former NBA players, were indicted in a federal grand jury mm -hmm. on charges of conspiracy to commit health care fraud and wire fraud for allegedly defrauding the NBA's health and welfare benefit plan out of nearly $4 million. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to read what the allegations are. Yeah. So they're saying that uh, you were part of a group of people that filed fraudulent insurance claim, claims for reimbursement. Uh, from 2017 to 2020, according to the indictment, players submitted phony invoices to the NBA's health plan for reimbursements for services that were never actually received from a chiropractor's office, two dental offices, a wellness office that specialized in sexual health, anti-aging, and general well-being. Terrence Williams, the, ski, uh, Terrence Williams, the scheme's alleged ringleader, uh, who played four years in the NBA, circulated false invoices to others in exchange for kickbacks. Mm -hmm. uh, among the players that uh, Williams recruited, uh, there was Tal Fair, who played for the Blazers, uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, and six other teams uh, mm -hmm. from 2004 to 13, uh, Davis, uh, as well as a bunch of other players. Mm -hmm. um, working with two unnamed co-conspirators, Williams created fake invoice and fabricated doctor's letters he circulated to other former players, according to the indictment, but several red flags in the documents drew people's attention uh, because there was grammatical errors and misspellings of patients' names mm -hmm. in the paperwork. Um, also, according to the indictment, uh, there was invoices for treatment uh, where they claimed they received, well, there was invoices for treatment when the actual people who received the treatment were either out of state or out of the country. Mm -hmm. um, Essentially, according to uh, Audrey Strauss, U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, the defendant's playbook included fraud and deception. The players will have to answer for their flagrant violations mm -hmm. of the law. So when I say all this, what do you say? Take that shit to motherfucking trial. Take that shit thug. to motherfucking trial. <laughs> That's all it. That's okay. all I got to say. Ain't no talking. Ain't no cooperating. You know, this situation is the NBA didn't do their due diligence. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, you're just put in a situation where you're associated. And so now I got to go to trial because they think I did something that I know I didn't do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That I know that I'm innocent. You know what I mean? Um, the whole situation, I never got any money. Wow. That's the thing. No money. I but you're a part of this money. indictment. I'm a part of this indictment. So are you on bail right now? Yeah. Okay, so you get charged. And what's the bail amount? Uh, I didn't, it wasn't no, I don't think it was no bail. I didn't have to pay nothing. Right. You're not was, exactly a danger to society yeah, or a like flight risk to, or yeah, anything else like that. I didn't have to that. pay nothing like that. But uh, yeah, it was just a, now you're in a certain group, you know, and now they want to just tag us all in when it's not, that is people taking, you know, advantage of a situation. So I just, I'm going to trial because I didn't do anything. Okay. Are they offering you plea deals? Uh, they haven't talked to me yet. Well, I'm not talking to them. I'm not, I'm not doing. Um, right, you've you know, lawyered up, I'm sure. I'm lawyered up and yeah. I'm, I'm going to trial. I'm fighting. Okay. I'm sorry I have to go through that. Oh, ain't nothing. I'm, I'm going to get my money. The NBA ain't going to owe me because it's some bullshit. Some bullshit. Some really, really bullshit. I'm sorry to hear you going through it. Oh, it's okay. You know, good people go through things sometimes. But now it's just, I got to learn, you know, people around me. I got to really look at paperwork. You know, that's the thing about being an athlete and coming back down to the real world. That they expect you, you know, to be able to go, you know, do these things when you need help. I've always had gaps, learning disabilities and situations like that. I just always made it off the intuition of me as a person and my character. That's how I made it through life. So, you know, this situation happened is, you know, you got to be mindful. You got to know that you got health insurance. You got to know that you got to file these pieces of paper. You can't just go and, okay, I'm going to work out because I think I know. No, you got to, you got to go right and, and, you know what I mean? Like, and that's something I was new coming back down to the world and being an athlete and not having, you know, those people trying to help us and adjust. So 
that's, you know, that's that type of situation. And, you know, I never, ever got it done. So I'm fighting that. You know what I mean? Because they throw me in there like, oh, four million dollars. I never got it done. So right, and you're essentially the biggest name in that whole indictment. Everybody knew me. Right. Like I was like, I would go places, be like, oh, that's big baby. Like, oh, big baby, you. I'm like, bro, I never got a dime. Damn. I never seen a dime. Like, wow. It's crazy. 